Greetings YouTube. I got an order in this week from Amazon.com and it contains Survival Wisdom and Know How, which is a huge book. It's like 480 pages. And Country Wisdom and Know How, which is also a huge book. And this really isn't a review because these are reference books and I don't ever plan on reading them cover to cover, not to mention I haven't had time to read them cover to cover. Um, but they are interesting reference books. The survival book is pretty good at general information. Um, it can't, obviously can't go into too much depth on any one topic because it wants to cover a lot of topics. Um, but the tracking uh, chapter so far that I've looked at is excellent. The plant section was pretty good, uh, and, and it even had some medicinal uh, plants. They covered mushrooms. Mushrooms were always something that I, uh, I'm a little nervous about. Uh, it says it listed five of them as the safe five, and yeah, some of them are very obvious, but still, mushrooms aren't something I want to be dabbling in if I could avoid it. Um, the country know-how book is one of the reasons I bought both of these, and it's a lot of useful, practical information about uh, how to do things in a low-tech manner, things that would have been done in the 18th or 19th century in an era before uh, you know, mass production of a lot of uh, items that would be used on a daily basis before uh, electricity. And uh, I got the uh, recommendation from a site called Cool Tools which reviews tools and information useful to people who like doing, you know, do-it-yourself kind of things, or just like gadgets. And it's uh, spelled Cool Tools with a K. Um, and it's a nice site. It's the kind of place I visit every day to check out what the latest po postings are for uh, interesting, you know, gihas and gadgets and widgets and such. Um, but this was recommended because of the very extensive information and a wide range of so topics. I think the thing says it has got like, yeah, like 1,800 uh, different uh, bits of information about specific items that can be done in a low-tech way. And uh, even if each one isn't all that deep, it's going to give you ideas and it's going to get you thinking and you will of course be able to then pursue these things in greater depth, either with the interwebs right in front of you or um, at, at a local library. And even though I have access to the internet and I can look up things anytime I want, I like the option of having actual print books. Uh, I've, as I said before, I like books. I like their feel, their weight, their, their, their physical sensation. And uh, as long as you've got sun, you can read them. You don't need electricity. And in particular, in, in both of these books are about doing things in a world without electricity. So it would be kind of ironic to have them, all, have, have them be online resources if you need electricity to achieve that. So I like having some kind of references. I have an extensive reference library on all kinds of different topics um, with a heavy emphasis on uh, technology and a little bit of history. Uh, I got technology books that range from stone tools, Neolithic technology, all the way up through uh, skunk work, high you know, tech, stealth technology. I've got stuff that covers every venue. Even some, even things of obscure technology like ammonia refrigeration, steam engines. I get references like that in my house because I find them fascinating. That and my uh, grandfather actually worked in the refrigeration uh, business at a creamery when they used ammonia. So I always kind of feel a connection to the whole concept of using ammonia for refrigeration because that's what my grandfather did. But if you're looking for some decent low-tech kinds of data that you have a reference on hand that you can keep in your house when you don't need uh, your computer to look at. These two books are pretty cool and I got them at Amazon.com together I think it was 26 bucks total which means you, since it's over $25 you get free shipping. So for 26 bucks you get these two big books. I mean they're large, they're thick, but they're full kinds of information. Some of the pictures are pretty cool. Um, 26 bucks, not a bad deal. 